Hey everyone, we are back with what's sold on eBay for the weekend. Uh, crazy weekend, busy. I'm tired already. We got a lot to pack up here. Uh, Linda repping her Dallas Cowboys uh, hoodie. She's not even really a Cowboys fan. She married in, but we'll take her. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, she knows. Got nothing, yeah, she knows nothing about the Cowboys. <laughs> but if you're a Cowboys fan, hit me up in the comments because been been a Cowboys fan for a long time. Anyways, uh, anything you want to say before we get started on what's sold on eBay this weekend? No, maybe? No. No. There's something, but she won't say it. No, I know. Okay, good. Look, we sell stuff on eBay. One man's trash <clears throat> is another man's treasure. We sell stuff on eBay to make some money online. Random stuff, all different kind of categories, whatever we can find at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, all the good stuff. And uh, I usually source and list most of it. Linda does all the packing and shipping. And we're a team. One team, one dream. Anyways, uh, how do we do this weekend? <laughs> This weekend we had 33 sales for a total of 1087. Let's get into it. First item. First item we have is this <clears throat> vintage 1991 copy of Alice in Chains live on concert. This was a dollar. And it sold for $18 shipped and it is going global shipping. They spent like program. 40 bucks to ship it or something crazy. I don't know how I was even that much for them, but crazy. I got a bunch of old like rock VHSs <clears throat> for a buck a piece and most of them have sold for like 10 to 20 bucks. So. And I'm not clearing my throat to get Cameron to do it. I have like a little cough thing going on. But she so. does also sometimes clear her throat to get me to do it. Because I do. I don't do it enough apparently. So no, because you know like when you're talking you get like... A frog in your throat and you're like... But you're just not talking and he does that. And I'm like... Like can't you hear yourself? So no, I go... I <clears throat> because I want him to clear his throat. Because so that's if you so see weird. that, that's a little... Michael picked up on it. You'll see in the, if you look at one of the old videos in the comments he's got that. Anyways. Thank you Next Michael. item. <laughs> Next up is this copy of Super Smash Bros. Melee. It is the case only. It is the case only. So no game, no manual, no nothing. Just the case. And it sold for $14 and some change. Happy to see it go. Happy to see it go. What do we got next? Then we got this book lot of by Beatrice Small. Oh, and I it love is Beatrice. Twilight Lord and Phillips. And these are from 2021 camp this year. That's our vacation every year. I, this is uh they like it was like a retail store, but they sell all kinds of stuff and they had this little book section of used books though. I think they were 50 cents each. And um, I just grabbed a couple of them because I just always am looking for ways to make money at places. I almost bought the, all the underwear they had. They had some underwear that's from like 2005 and 8. And they wanted just a little bit too much money. I'm like, it's almost worth buying. I could resell it and make some money, but I didn't. I'm hoping next year it'll be cheaper. Then we have a Panasonic um, expansion hand set. Um, it comes with the phone the, and the base. And the wire for the base. And it sold for $20 shipped. And it will come again in the video. <laughs> Hold your breath. Next up, we got a Bissell Power Force um, replacement part. Ew. A little piece of dust came out of there. <laughs> and that is a Bestie buy. So we bought a Bissell vacuum from the Bestie. Well, yeah, and there's a piece of dust on there. He parted it out, and this piece sold for Yeah, it's all over my phone now. I parted yeah, it out to for Blow that out with a little air thing. <clears throat> more money, and it sold for $17 shipped. Pretty cool. Go Next we have a cassette. This is Mariah Carey single, can't let go, and it sold for twenty dollars shipped. You know, I never know about what cassettes are going to be worth money. I just look them up. It's just random. It seems sometimes. Yeah. Then we got another GSP uh, sale. This is this. These are a pack of Star Wars vintage nineteen eighty three stickers. So there's a Tie Fighter. There's an X Wing. The Pop Death Luke. Star. Yeah, that's like a lot of Han good Solo, characters on here. Like a, all the different ones. A good Star Wars fan, you know. But. They're pretty cool. And those sold for forty dollars shipped, and the buyer paid who knows how much. I think like fifty something. But the reality is, we sold a bunch of those stickers already in a big lot for. 600 bucks, 500 bucks, 400 bucks. Oh, was that that pack? Yeah, and I had took out the ones to sell separately, and this lot still sold for 40 And we spent 10 bucks on all the stickers. It was a crazy buy. Yeah. It was awesome. Next up, we have a Bonnie 3 8 by 7 16 short offset box and wrench. It's a little guy here. So it is a double sided one. This is out of all the tools that we bought off of the Bestie, and this one itself sold for $10 shipped. An easy one there, made in USA. <clears throat> Then, this is pretty cool. This we have a, a vintage. I think this is the sale of the weekend. Nope. No. There's one sale higher, but this is probably the coolest. Well, and it'll make the most money. Yeah. 
This is a vintage WWF American made Hulk Hogan shirt. This is a size small, so it is a very small shirt, guys. So this is a vintage small. Very, so when we're yeah. talking about small, we're talking so this about is back puny. in the day before you know Mickey but, D's yeah, really yeah. hit it off. Exactly. No, I don't know. Night. What? There was from Mickey the 80s, D's back Mickey then, D's? but yeah, this was a different time though. Yeah. Now we're a lot chunkier. Before DoorDash and everything, when you can and get now it a easier. smallest like a large back then. <laughs> yeah, true. No, just kidding. Probably a medium, but. But it sold on its own for a hundred and twenty dollars shipped, and, and based on that, I think it was an <clears> offer. Yes, basically it was listed at like 150 or something, and I paid a dollar for this at a garage sale around the street. It was going, I talked about this one before. We're going to drop off uh, packages at our post office place that we use, and as I'm coming by, I see this uh, garage sale with a bunch of clothing racks, and I'm like, ah, clothing, not really interested. But maybe on the way back, I'll hit it. On the way back, stop by and just pulled all these vintage clothes. Um, there weren't. This was one of the best ones there. There's a lot of like lower end stuff and some old vintage Wranglers, but they were a buck a piece, so a buck into 120. Great deal. I had it listed at 150. The guy offered 80. I think I counted at 120 to say, oh, this is my best. And he took it. So he or she. So that was awesome. And then, deja vu, we have a sale for a Panasonic expansion handset. These are hard to find. Just kidding. We have, Comes with the phone and the like base this. and the wire for the base. And it sold for $22 shipped. This one sold full price. Um... The guy who bought the first one said, make sure you send me the cleanest one. Even girl. Though, girl. Even though they got a discount. So. Cameron feel, said no. I said the guy who paid them more money, wouldn't they get the better one? Because they paid full price. We didn't tell them that. We're just going to do it. They're all in the same condition though. So it's pretty much the same. Oh. Why is he doing that thing? No, the bag's under my eyes. Okay. <laughs> Next, Next up. Next item. We have a pair of fat boys cars mm -hmm. the cadillac escalade and the dodge ram these are sealed but the box is kind of damaged like looks like water damage yeah and these ones sold for 13 dollars and they were a dollar so we'll take it vintage stuff next up we got a bestie buy this is a sage and sage con yes Sag sage M Sag M Con. Con. Sag you really Sag shouldn't Con. sell these by the way guys i tell you this every time yeah. but Shh. this is a wire router it's a router but you shouldn't sell these but if you do be careful how you list them and it sold for 45 dollars shipped so you didn't hear it from me then this did, is out of our local library's used bookstore which cameron loves and this is the harry potter complete eight film collection on dvd and it sold for 20 dollars shipped the cool thing was is i i taught, kind of made friends with the ladies there um and it sounded weird, but anyways, um, then we exchanged numbers. Oh boy! <laughs> and uh, the lady said, "I'm gonna start saving stuff for you because I know what you like." And then she called me and she goes, "Hey, come up to the back room. This is also sounding <laughs> weird." <laughs> okay. uh, but <laughs> Linda Don't wasn't there over. either. But um, she got to show me where. <laughs> Why do you gotta say that? It's just getting worse. Um, but there's this huge room of books they have that are gonna go out into their store. They have a bookstore there, and I started pulling stuff off the shelf that they had priced, but they hadn't brought out because only have so much room. And um, this was one of those things. I think I paid four bucks for it or something. So got 20 out of it. Good deal. And nothing inappropriate happened, to be clear. The ladies are like 85. So? Next up, we got our Yamaha RAV15 audio this remote is a control. a very unique one because this one was attacked by a large dog. Looks like it, yeah. But this is a rare remote. I had to list it because this thing is... It, it works still. At least it gives a signal, but... Um, it's a hard remote to find. This one sold in this condition, which it says. I did show them. A little chip out of there. Oh, no, and... oh no, I don't have any batteries in. We don't leave batteries in like you did when you were up here trying to. Like, it doesn't work, but trust me, guys, it works. <laughs> and have batteries in. Anyways, this sold for. $25 shipped. Again, normally I don't, wouldn't list a remote in that condition, but this one sold way below the market for $25. If you find the real one, I think it's $40, $45. Bucks. $45 remote. Next item, socket. Next item, this is a vintage Craftsman 916 deep half inch drive socket tool. And <clears throat> that one sold for $12 shipped. All right, just a bunch of random tools, guys. We've told you in a couple of other videos we're really liking the tools. It doesn't, we're not making a ton of money every time, but they're really easy sales. Most of them are first class shipping. Got a lot of positive feedback on the tools we've been selling. Oh, I needed this one for my collection or. So happy to get it. So it's been it's been very good. We're gonna keep doing it if we can find the vintage ones. Next, another remote. This is a Breeze AT. I'm not sure what AT stands for. Breeze by EcoQuest, 
and it's the air purifier remote and it sold for 13 and a half shipped. Remotes for purifiers, air conditionings. We sold a fireplace remote one time for I want to say a hundred bucks. Um, because they're always small and you lose them. It was up on vacation. We found one. I think it was a hundred bucks we got for it. So a bed remotes, you know, we sell remotes to little warming blankets, all kinds of stuff, guys. Heating blankets. And it's not that you lose it in your own home. It's when you move. And those things just get lost. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you put it in the box with the item. It never shows up. Ever. Yep. Until you go to move again and you've already purchased or it's a like new remote. in your couch. Like, I can't find it anywhere. And Buy a new, a new one. one. And then all of a sudden you have two. Yep. Next. Next up we got this Craftsman V. What's a V? V is the, it's like, like a V series right there. Let's go see. It's like, probably can't see it. But it says V. There's like VV. There's G. E, e, they're like different series of the uh, ah, craftsman tool. Okay, this is a one. Usually, V is an older one. Combo wrench. Combo forged open end, in USA, made in box USA. end over here. So and it sold for eighteen dollars shipped. This one is probably going to go over a pound, so this one is not going to be as great. But I had to sell it because I had it, so I had to. I got to make sure it gets a good home. I'm hoping it goes to Sally. <clears throat> yeah. Next up, we got a Bose VCS 10 center. center this is speaker. a speaker tested and it works. And I do test these. Linda likes to make fun of my testing, but I have a little unit here. I plug them in and we listen to the speakers. And this one came in of a big Bose. I make lock. fun of the testing on like the you, items that I know you couldn't have tested. Linda likes to make fun of me, period, guys. You probably know that by now. Anyways, what did this sell for? This sold for $80 shipped. 80 bucks. Awesome deal there. We already made a bunch of money on the bow stuff, and this was... We have one piece left, but they sent us a broken power cord, so I have to order a new one. <laughs> you spelled that wrong. What? You put tiny server. It's tiny serger. I copied someone's listing, so they spelled it wrong, too. Anyway. You correct it. Hey, man. I always want to make fun of them. I want to go with what they have. Anyways, what do we sell? Next item is a Singer Tiny Serger TS380. sewing machine. I have the box over here, but it's buried. And the listing is spelled wrong. And this is for Spelling parts or repair because it's broken. We don't know why. No, it is broken. It... Hmm, we just heard something fall in the back. Creeping. Anyways, <laughs> I tested it out. It doesn't seem to function right. It keeps like getting stuck. We sold it once before, and the person returned it, even though it was for parts then. Um, I have free return set up. I didn't. I'm like, you're a moron. It doesn't work. But we sold it again for parts. Again, it's all over the listing. Um, these little surgery units, though, if they work, you can get 60, 65 bucks usually for them. People will buy these little mini ones. So I don't have to pull out the big boy. So. But our broken one sold for $40 shipped. So that's cool. Next up, we have this manual, the Jeep CJ Rebuilders Manual from 1972 to 1986. And this one sold for $30 shipped. Best part was it was sitting on a shelf. He had two manuals there. And I'm like, what do you want? He goes, I don't even know if I'm going to sell those. And I'm like, oh, bummer, because I know these are good. And his wife says, are you really ever going to use them? And he goes, I guess I'm selling them. And he sold me two for five bucks, and this one sold already. She and so. I would get along. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> thank you, wife, for helping him out. Yeah, right? Poor guy. <clears throat> Next up, we have a disc only PS1 game of Blasto, and this one sold for. I'm sure it's here. Where I don't know. Here it is. Blasto. This one sold for $16. And some Pretty change. good for disc only. We'll take that. Then we've got this vinyl. I'm not gonna, it's buried too, but it's you'll see it. The Rolling Stones Tattoo You, and this is from Big Vinyl Buy, and it. No, it's not. What's LP? That's the big vinyl buy. Big vinyl buy, and it sold for $12 and it's some like it's change. It's first day, guys. <laughs> okay, here's the biggest sale dollar amount-wise. It sold some trash. No. <laughs> <laughs> you scared the cat. Okay. <laughs> the biggest buy. You're scared. I don't know how he scared it. It didn't even hit the ground. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, the biggest sale of the day. Not, not by that much. Yeah, Only it's two bucks. bags full of cassettes. These are yeah. all ones that we got, and they just weren't really worth <laughs> selling individually. Ugly Kid Joe. Just, There's one. It's Everything got about you. Box wrap, Action Jackson. But anyways, all kinds of stuff. Red Hot Chili Peppers, give it away. It's a single. But anything that doesn't really sell for like that $10 mark or $8 sometimes if it sells a lot, I just put in a big lot. And these sold for? These sold for $135 shipped. So pretty cool to get them out of here. That's just basically the free money I figured because most people might just donate them. They did take a little while to sell, but, you know, it was worth it. Next up, we've got a 1968 copy of the Worship and Service Hymnal for $12 shipped. This was a buck. Made a few bucks. 
Then we got a Kylie buy, and this Kylie buy is a Farberware food processor um, stem replacement, and literally just. This is a big part. stem though. Like normally they're not this stem. big, but this one's fairly large. What are we talking about? <laughs> and it's all for twenty dollars shipped. Twenty dollars shipped. Anyways, <laughs> um, Linda's inappropriate. Well, I didn't do anything. It's, but we know, we know it's you. Everyone here knows that I'm the one keeping this ship afloat. Next up, we've got the Great Courses Keep of America of the American Revolution on DVD and with the book. This is These from the are... library when I went back with the lady upstairs. And these sold for twenty-two dollars shipped. These were three bucks. I don't. A lot of the Great Courses do not sell that great. Pun intended. <laughs> no, <laughs> they don't sell that well. So um, be careful when you buy. They used to sell a lot better, but it's just seems like the market's kind of tanked a little bit on this. People then we've got the myth of mental illness. This almost seems like, I don't even know if it's... On paperback. It's an old book, so who knows if it's probably super outdated. But it's sold for? It's sold for 13 and a half <clears throat> shipped. We'll take it. Then we've got uh, this is a good Foreigner one. Live. Foreigner, never even heard of him. Yeah, I don't know. And that one sold for $35 shipped. And this is out of the paintball buy. Cameron bought a couple of paintball guns. Yeah, but the long ago, I don't even remember this. <clears throat> long time ago. Yeah, but we'll take it. It's been up for a minute. Yeah. Next up, we've got Larry McRae, Born to Play the Blues, on CD from 1998. And that one sold for $9 shipped. I think that's from the Jazz Buy or Blues Buy or whatever it was. So that was cool. Then yeah. we got a couple of 007 games for PS2. And this pair sold for $19 shipped. Usually a lot together games like Jack and Daxter, 007. If I get a couple games of the same you know, type, I'll lot them together. Because individually, they just don't sell that great. So sometimes that's the best way to do it. Yep. We and sold we one a, of our last Furbies. We only have like one left. This is a vintage 1998 Furby. He's the giraffe one. The giraffe. He is for parts though because he's missing an this eyelash. This is the second one we have. It was missing an eyelash. So it's, it's a common injury for a Furby out in the wild. Yeah. Poor guys. And that sold for $30 shipped. He was five bucks. So he'll probably go first class, I think. He's pretty small. Hopefully. Next up, we got a pair of Nike Air Force Ones. These are a uh, pair of women's one. seven, size seven. Um, they got a cool color to them. Yeah, they're kind of like a mauve, mm. I would think. Like a really light mauve or like a pink. Kind of pink. I don't know. But they were, I think, 10 or 15 bucks, but they sold for $65 shipped. And those are bucks. also a bestie buy. Yeah, he came to the house and so I got some <laughs> shoes and boom. We got these in the bright, really bright yellow ones. He's kind of like, you know, the Schwan <clears throat> guy who delivers, like, food. He delivers. Bestie uh, comes and delivers items. Yeah. <laughs> it, it works well. Next up, we got a Tiki mug. This is a super cool one. Have we had this one forever? No, oh, it wasn't listed for a long time. What? We had another one that we sold already. This is a Tiki Farm 2003 from Crazy Al. And maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it's like Al Evans, I think. Oh, yeah, Crazy Al Evans. And it sold for $30 shipped. These Tiki mugs, some of them go, if you get one from like the 60s, they can go crazy. I saw one guy who I used to watch all the time on YouTube doesn't make videos anymore, but he sold one for like 300 bucks for a Tiki mug. It was from a hotel. Um, but even the 2000s ones, some of them have some value, so check them out. Usually you can do a Google image search and you'll find them. I think that's all we have. I don't think anything's come through. So that's everything, guys. Uh, quite a bit to pack up here, so we're going to go ahead and get to it. We appreciate you guys watching, and we'll both be back tomorrow with what sells um, on Monday. Anything you want to say? No. Find me the rock with your eyebrow? I can't do that. I can't do it either. I have like a like cemented eyebrows on. I can't lift this one. I can't do it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no one's perfect, right? Anyways, we'll see you later. Bye.